Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Apex Legends gameplay. And we have a lot to talk about today. And in today's video, we'll be going over all the stuff in today's update for season 12. And the background gameplay is just some solo footage, uh, some solo ranked I had laying around. But anyway, let's jump into the update. First off is the new legend, Mad Maggie. As you can see right here, Maggie's passive allows you to see enemies that you've recently damaged for a few seconds and have no movement, uh, no movement penalty while running a shotgun. Then her tactical is a little drill bit that sticks to surfaces like doors and even gibby bubbles and launches fire through the cover. And I think this would be super useful against those, especially against those annoying Rampart players or people who like to heal behind doors after taking a little bit of damage. And finally, her ultimate's a big bouncy ball that wrecks anything it touches and then finally blows up, dealing more damage. And uh, it also uh, drops little pads that when you run across them, you get a small speed boost. And overall, I think she'll be a handy legend to have. Maybe not a top tier legend, but she'll be handy, especially against those teams that like to set up or hide inside of buildings like, you know, Ramparts or Gibbies and Caustics or Watsons. I think she'll be uh, pretty handy against them. Although a Watson Gen will destroy her tactical and her ult. So just keep that in mind. Then we get a new limited time mode called Control, which is essentially domination from Call of Duty. And similar to Arena, you pick a designated loadout and try to capture three objectives. This is a 9v9 mode, so you and two friends will squad up with two more three-man teams of randoms to take on nine other enemies. And it looks fun, and to me it looks like a great way to warm up before maybe jumping into ranked or those sweaty pub games. And next up, keep the ball rolling, we're getting uh, Olympus and Kings Canyon back. And this season the devs have said that Olympus, Kings Canyon, and Storm Point will be the only three maps, so no World's Edge and that the first rank split will be on Olympus while the second uh, rank split will be on Kings Canyon. As for Olympus, they have expanded the playable area and added more points of interest to help reduce the uh, third parties and everyone dying within like, you know, the first three minutes. Everybody landed at the same spot and next thing you know, it's you and one other squad. Round one closed, you can't find anybody. So they're, they're trying to cut a lot of that out on Olympus and hopefully it works. And for Storm Point, they have finally nerfed the prowlers a bit, taking their damage from 30 down to 20. They also made the prowlers a bit less aggressive, unless you shoot them, and even then, only three prowlers will attack one person at a time instead of like 200,000 like you've seen before. Also, the prowlers will be more passive if they're in the storm, unless you shoot them. And this is something I'm a big fan of because I've recently been third partied a few times when zone closes right next to a prowler den and you're kind of playing on the edge in some cover. And finally, the bigger news is they've increased the high tier loot a prowler or spider can drop. And finally, rounding out all the new, the major Storm Point updates, uh, they've changed the flight paths of the uh, dropship to make it easier for a team to land at the very top of the map at High Point or Lightning Rod. The next update I want to talk about is for the ranking system. As you can see by the chart up on the screen, they're putting more emphasis on placement over kills. And my only issue with this is now instead of having teams full send in every fight, you have teams scanning beacons and sitting in the final zone all game just waiting for circle to close. And you end up with 15 teams in the last zone and most will have blue shields and zero damage just looking to third party fight for placement. And, you know, I don't know. I could be wrong, but only time will tell. Alright, up next, legend changes. And as for legend changes, Crypto, he got a bit of a buff. As you can see by the screenshot, and now you'll have a kill feed, a mini map, and team status and ping information all while you're in the drone. And they've also increased the drone field of view from 160 degrees all the way up to 240 degrees. And they made it where Crypto can throw out his drone and while he's running a straight line, uh, give him a chance to kind of get the drone out while getting into cover instead of having to be in cover first and then pulling a drone out, kind of slowing everything down. And finally, the last major change they made was they uh, decreased the drone's health from 60 down to 50, making it a bit easier to shoot out of the sky. And the next legend to see some action was Caustic. And now you'll be able to shoot his gas traps even after they've gone off. And the barrels will have 150 health, and the gas will linger for two seconds after you destroy it. After you destroy an already popped trap. So, overall, not a bad little change. That'd be kind of handy, I think. Because there's nothing worse than trying to fight a roomed up, barreled up crypto team when there's six traps all going off at once. So now you'll be able to, if you don't get the chance to uh, shoot one out, or he shoots one, triggers one, you can still finish it off 150 damage and you're right in the room. Right, next up, we have the weapon changes and the alternator's out of the care pack and the Volt is in it. The alternator's gonna lose his disruptor rounds while the Volt's gonna gain two damage per shot and two extra rounds in the mag. 
And speaking of care package weapons, another big change I want to cover is the fact that the flatline and longbow are no longer floor loot. Instead, they can be crafted in replicators for 30 crafting material. And they'll come with no attachments, but you do get uh, two stacks of ammo with them. Right. As for hop ups, the newest one is uh, one called the Kinetic Feeder. It's for the triple take and the uh, PK. And when equipped, it reloads the guns and increases the choke time, but only while sliding. I don't know why, that's the thing. And next up, they also brought back hammer point rounds. And hammer point rounds, they, if you don't know what they are, they deal extra damage against people with no shield. And they can go on the P2020, the Mozambique, and now they can also go on the RE45. And the last little hop up news is shatter caps no longer have to be toggled on and off. Whenever you hip fire with shatter caps on the 3030 or the bow, it is automatically in shatter cap mode. And this mode toggles off whenever you aim down sights. So that'd be a nice little change because I used to pick up shatter caps and forget I had them on, try to hip fire, and it was just, I never really used them efficiently. Maybe this will uh, make me more proficient with them. That's going to round out all the major stuff I want to talk about. Make sure you check the description, though, for the full set of patch notes. I'm going to link straight to them because I didn't cover every little detail of it. I just kind of hit all the, the major points. And uh, I do hope you enjoyed the video. hope you found it useful, informative. And if you did enjoy it, hit that like video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'm going to let you all get let's watch the rest of this gameplay. Peace out. Thank you all for watching. Touchdown. We're already in the next ring. I'm under fire. Recharging shields. Bandit squad's been here. Attention. Let's check this quadrant. Bogey in sight. and hold.
whole squad. Crew there. I'm hurting. Got the other Phoenix kid. Bogey here. That was a fun game. You are the Apex Champions.